Hi guys, this is Lila. Welcome to my channel Lila Web Dev. So we have successfully created the project. This is our project, right? Now we know that the main part. So here lies in the app folder. This is where we will be creating all the components and all those things. So now how we can create the component. So the first one is imp uh, importing and using of the sorry and not uh, creating of this component. So how to create a component. So for creating a component, what we'll try to do is, so we'll create a new file and let's go and create profile.component.ts. So this is a simple file that is nothing but a JavaScript file. Here we'll be using the TypeScript as you already people, all the people are aware of this one. So we are using the .ts means it's a TypeScript file. So now here we will be writing the code. So this is our component profile.component.ts. This, this is the naming convention which we will be trying to do. And here we will be using export default class profile component and this is the name which we will be creating and for this one to be have as a component we need to use the add red component directive which should be imported from the angular core and here in this one you will be having three important parameters so the three important keys that is nothing but first one is the selector so here you will be giving the selector thing so here i am writing it as an app iphone profile so this is one thing and the another one is the template so what is the template i need to render so here I can write something like h1 and the profile component. So here I can write it like this. And the last one is nothing but selector here spelling mistake. And the styles, if you want to implement the styles and all those things, so you can write the styles. And here I can use h1 color green. And the background color also will try to give background color yellow. So this is our simple component. So we have created our simple component. Now we need to use this component. So now if you try to see here and if you refresh this page, so we are not able to use this component. So now we need to create this component. How we can create this component? So sorry, we have created this component. How we need to use this component? How we can import and use this component? Let's try to see. So now let's go to the app component.html file. I am removing this entire code and I am writing here. Hi Leela. So this is our simple code. Now here if you try to see, here we are able to see the output also. Now I need to use this profile component in this app component.html. So how can I use this one? So here I can write something like, sorry, let's remove this one on. Yeah, here I need to write app iPhone profile. That's it. So now when you use this one directly and if you refresh this page, here it is showing an error that app iPhone profile is an Angular component. I cannot use this one. So we need to use this, uh, implement this one in the imports thing. So in Angular 17, it is recommended we need to use the standalone components. So that is the recommended one which we need to use this one. We need to use this one. So standalone component are directly importable into other standalone components. The Angular team recommends using the standalone components for all the new development. So now, for example, let's say that uh, the previous method how it was how it was is so we need to go to the app.module.ts and there we need to import it, right? So if you try to see here something. Like so we will discuss that one in our module section. So first we need to make this one as a standalone component. In order to make this one as a standalone component, so we need to write here standalone as true. Okay, so this one we need to make the standalone as true. And now do we can use directly this one? So now we are able to see hi Leela, but we are not able to see the component. So the component is not getting rendered. Why? Because here we are having the profile component and also we have applied some styles also. So how we can make this available? If you try to see here, we have used this app profile and here it is telling, still it is saying that it is not a known element. Why? Because, so we need to go to the component.ts file and here we need to add it in the imports. Why? Because these are all the standalone components, right? So now here for this one, what we need to do and here in this one, so I need to add the profile component directly. Now, if you try to see the output, now we are not, we are able to see the profile component thing. So this is how we will be creating the component and we will be importing and using the components in another component. So now here the structure we have seen it right. The standalone we need to make it as a true so that it is standalone and the selector we need to use it and the template we will be using like this and styles. There is also another way. So for example, if you are having more and more HTML, so how we can implement this one. So this becomes a tedious or confusing, right? How we can use this one is. So instead of this template thing, we also have another one that is nothing but template URL. So for this one, what we need to do, we need to create another two files that is nothing but profile.component.html. So which contains all the template 
and the another one is profile.component.css profile.component.css that's it so now in this html so whatever the code we have written here so this h1 and all those things we can copy it and we can paste it here so but here this is the template url right so what we need to do here so we need to mention the profile component.html so here we have mentioned the path for this profile profile component.html the same css which we have written here we can copy it here and we can paste it now here the same thing the styles so it should be style url okay style urls so style urls you can mention it like this you can also have multiple css files you can have yeah, you can have another css file you can create it and you can have it like this also so that's not a problem so now like this we will be creating now this also works the same only now we have divided the coding so we have divided the code and all those things so for html we have made it as a separate file and css also we have made it as a separate file so this is one methodology so now we have seen that selector app iphone and profile and we are able to see this code so now one thing we have implemented right so this standalone code, so I have told you, right, Angular code that predates standalone components is, it uses the ng module as a mechanism for importing and using other components. So we will see about this one in the, in our ng module section and all those things. So I don't want to explain you. So this is all related to the Angular 17. So we will learn the latest thing only, which, which will be completely different with our previous Angular course. So now we have, we have successfully created our own new component. So now in this component, we need to know what are the different types of selectors that are supported in this one. So in Angular, what are the different, how many different types? So this is a selector. So this one is nothing but what I can say is this is the type selector. Okay. Or otherwise you can say it as an element selector. Okay. So this one is and directly we will be using this component name here directly. Okay. So now this component name, how it will be created is when you, when we are using this compile time. So Angular matches this selector statically at the compile time. Changing the DOM at runtime either via Angular bindings or with DOM APIs does not affect the component rendering thing. So now the different ways we are having well, actually. So component selectors you need to understand that these are case sensitive. So app iPhone profile this one is different and here if you try to see and this one is different. So now we are able to see the output. Okay. These are case sensitive. So actually we are not able to see app iPhone profile. Let's see. I think this one is working, I think, but these are generally component selectors are case sensitive. So now I want to tell you that Angular supports uh, different types of thing. That is type selector, attribute selector, and also the class selector. So first one is this. Uh, <coughs> so uh, type selector is which we have seen it. So that is nothing but it is matching with an either HTML tag name or the node name. And another one is an attribute selector. So attribute selector means you can also mention it as an attribute selector. For example, let's say that here I am trying to give it something like app iPhone profile. Okay. So this is nothing but an app uh, attribute selector. Now, if you try to see the output, so then also we are able to see this output, right? Now here, if you try to go into our app component.html, now if I remove this one, so whether we can, yeah, now it's not working. So now here we can also mention it something like uh, app iPhone profile, like an attribute also. Now if you try to see the output, then also this should work. Anyway, it is not working. Profile dot component selector. I have used this selector only. App iPhone, whether it is running or not. So it is also running. And if you see the output for this one, so, let, so now it is working. So maybe our command prompt has got stuck sometimes. So whenever you try to see, whenever you are not able to see the output, expected output means you can restart your angular uh, that command so now we are able to see that app in our profiler comment so this is our class sector now if i try to use something like app iphone profile it should not work as expected so now i am trying to use it now you are getting an error right so now you are able to see that there is no output we are getting so we should get, we need to get in so here now we got an output uh, sorry error now we are able to see that same error in you know, it's not we are able to see so fine now you are able to understand right so this is one way which we can get it now another one another one which we can do it is so here we can also use the pseudo classes also the only one pseudo class it will be supporting is the not for example let's say that i want to use this one only in the app profile okay i want i don't want to use it for the uh, paragraph element okay i don't want to use it for the paragraph element 
now this one also we can use it now if you try to see here so for the, this due we are able to use it and if you have another due we are able to use it okay two times the component will come if you try to see and i will try to use the same thing for the paragraph also paragraph also i will try to show you and if you see the output we are not able to get it but here i will try to apply for the span element so now we are able to see the output now three things with three three profiles will come if, you, if i try to show you this one in our inspect element so we are able to see this for for this paragraph we are we didn't get any anything but for the span element and also for the two div elements we are able to get it for but for the paragraph element we are not able to up, uh, we are not able to render the component so this is just because we have used the not only the not pseudo class will be uh, applied pseudo elements and all those things will not be supported angular does not support any other pseudo classes or any pseudo elements in the component selectors so this is one thing and uh, we can also use another type of things like multiple selectors also we can use it like for example let's say that i want to support uh, as an element selector and also i want to support as an attribute selector so you can use it like this comma oriented so now this one is this one is also supported now if you try to see here we are using like this right and also you can use it like app iphone profile like this also you can use it without any problem now one two three four five so total five five times it should be rendered so here we will be able to see one two three four five so five times it has been rendered so this is how we will be using the selectors combination so now we hope you understood about this selectors and all those things so now what is what is the main thing so how to choose a selector so the vast majority of the components should use a custom element name as then selector all custom element name should include a hyphen as the described thing so now here it should be all the custom elements you here it should be an hyphen so this is the recommended one custom element selector is the recommended one okay by default angular reports an error if it encodes a custom tag name that does not match any available components so for example if you are using an app hyphen profile and here you are trying to use any other something like uh, app hyphen user now here in this scenario the angular will report an error so we'll show an error so preventing bugs due to mistyped component names whereas in the class selector and all those things it will not show you any errors and also the another one which i want to discuss you before closing of this video is the selector prefixes okay so normally we will be using this selector prefixes like app iphone like this right so you if you want you can also use your custom own uh, custom own thing so which is present in the angular.json i will try to show you those all things also okay so no need to worry so prefix is app we are using it right so we can have your own prefix and all those things so like this also you can use it so but we should not use the ng as the prefix why because it is a reserved keyword so that is the main thing which you need to use so never use this ng as a selector prefix for your own custom components so when to use this attribute selector and when to use this uh, element selector so you may be having a doubt so you should consider an attribute selector when you want to create a component on a standard native element for example if you want to create a custom button component you can take the advantage of the standard button element by using an attribute selector so this is one way where we can use it so that is one thing right uh, so these are all the main things which you will be trying to do. components that define attribute selector should use the lower case dash case attributes you can follow the same prefixing recommendation described above so this is one thing which i want to tell you so now we have understood here creating of the component importing of the component and also the different types of selectors how we can use for creating of the for using the components we have seen it so that's it hope you understood about the creation of the components if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you